Thank you so much, sir, for agreeing to be interviewed. So my first question to you is, public governance is undergoing a major change with digital governance coming into play to improve service delivery by using technology. What are your priorities in this regard? Government's priorities and my priorities. Yes. See that people can access services at their doorstep. And the delivery of the service also should be at the doorstep. People should interact less with government, should come less to government offices. Uh, therefore, it should become easier for them to access services. Uh, first thing is, all information which is required for them should be available. Uh, in the public domain. Second, information what they require, any service which they require. One, to make it accessible online. Second, to make it easier to access. Because uh, government normally makes things very difficult for them. Filling up an application form is so difficult that they will require third party to help. And we have a lot of departments which have got, uh, which actually uh, register people to help. They to assist, they are called an assistant mode. Okay. The government of itself again is that it is difficult to fill forms, which I think you should get rid of. So therefore, uh, I have been looking at this uh, simplifying the uh, application forms. A lot of uh, information which we ask from the public is what we already have. If the data we have, we should not ask them. For example, if somebody has already applied for a ration card, we know his family details. If he is applying for a game with a certificate, he will not give all the details. There will be some key should be. So that is what uh, one thing which we are now pushing. To see that uh, um, the application process, the interface with the government becomes easier and simpler. Um, and then one uh, need not keep on coming for application. Every department keeps asking for similar kind of uh, uh, applicant data uh, from the public and uh, certificates. We will use all this DigiLogger, which is how uh, it is found uh, help. And the Aadhaar at least has an uh, index uh, to which we can link a lot of services. Uh, this is small baby steps that we are taking. I hope that we can make it bigger for sure. We should go ahead with this. I am sure that the person who understands the importance of technology, this should work and it's good to start with baby steps. Yes. Think big but start small. I think that's very good. So sir, my next question to you is, in your opinion, I know you answered part of it but I would like to just emphasize, how can data generation at source be improved by digitizing the process? Because as you know, one of the things is collecting data itself is a big challenge for many of us. And are there some activities that can be done to improve this data collection for better results, which all of us want? Data, if it is part of a process, then the data is data is integrity and will be easier to find. If it's a data which has to be offline collected and then uh, then it becomes uh, difficult because one does not know what kind of a data is being collected or fed. Uh, therefore, what we are looking at is actually making all processes to uh, be through system. Okay. If a process is through a system driven, then data is automatically collected. Okay. If it is not so, then uh, I have my own doubts about the the validity, yeah. absolutely, sir. Absolutely. Data collection would be uh, data using that kind of a data to analyze also would yeah. lead to some wrong results. Yeah. Uh, because a lot of time the data which is being fed is from the point of view of the uh, person who has to view data. Right. Because he would like to cover himself up. Right. Uh, by not giving uh, figures which may affect. Correct, absolutely. So therefore, uh, we have yeah. all, most of the data coming from the field, we take it to the pictures. Uh, and so, like you said, data uh, data analysis in the government is still in its infancy. But I know that you specifically and the earlier people who were there in the department have started seeking out support 
from organizations let's say like public affairs center or the center for open data research with that we have as an analytic plan. How do you think we should work more in tandem with the government, especially there's a lot of expectations from Europe. What do you think should be some tips that you can give that we both work in tandem to get better and efficient results? You see, there is a lot of uh, suspicion at the field level mm -hmm. of uh, dealing with uh, somebody outside the government to give data. Yeah, okay. And still people think the data is, uh, information is power. Right. So they know it's, that though we may have at uh, the government level, um, we are very open and we would like to have some external agencies to uh, partner with us like PSC, COD, IAAC, IAAC, Institute of Science, there is. But at the low field level, there is still reluctance to partner with the data. You know, what do we should uh, either only remove their suspicions and talk to them and see that they are uh, actually what we are doing is only to help their activities. One. Otherwise, independent of this, the data should come and it should be collected at this at, at the centralized level without going to the field. Uh, but then it will be useful also for the partner agencies to go to the field because they would know what is the field situation. Right. Uh, just uh, collecting at, uh, data at higher end and trying to analyze may not give actually the fields what is happening in the field and how we should uh, change our systems, processes, uh, what is required of the people. Ultimately, whatever we do has to follow the problem. We are not, not doing for ourselves. Right, sir. Mm, so, what is their perception, how they would like things to change. Is for that, I think uh, somebody has to go to the field. But to think that the government can do everything is not correct. The government uh, neither has the time to do it. First of all, all this analysis and uh, this government are not do not have the time, nor the where with them. Uh, because we do a different kind of fire rating every day. Uh, very rare cases we are proactive, we are mostly reactive. Very few cases we are uh, we think ahead and uh, so therefore it is better that we have uh, third party outsiders who have uh, an open uh, you don't have uh, any vested interest in person party. Right, yeah. Uh, always welcome. And right. government has been open. It is uh, right. uh, we have been partnering partnering with a lot of institutions. Sir. Yeah. But uh, sorry to say that uh, then we don't take it After we get the information, we get our reports, we get recommendations, uh, then uh, many are not taken Right. It's nothing to do with any third party. Even our own government appointed committee which give recommendations are also uh, very rarely acted upon, unless it is of some grave importance. Yes. Uh, one has to live with it, but uh, partnering and uh, would have been in the olden days, but now with the times, the new times and things changing fast. Yes, sir. The government is now actually reacting and uh, mm, to all the recommendations where have been looked at it and trying to improve the services. Because the people are also very uh, impatient. Correct. Yes, sir. They are demanding services. Yes, they require quality of service to be improved. They require things which they ask for. Uh, we have the RTI, we have the RTP, we have the courts are very, very now uh, public interest litigation in the order of the day. Therefore, uh, things have to change. Okay. And I think uh, we will always welcome partnership with the institutions. Okay. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Sir. Welcome. Very